right. We are back. Back again on the grind. So, I hope you enjoyed the video from yesterday. And, uh, let's answer a few questions. So, first of all, power lifting. Uh, one commenter mentioned uh, your power lifting routine. I don't do power lifting anymore. Power lifting is boring for me. For me, okay? So, if power lifting is fun for you, then, yeah. Great. But, I did power lifting and now I find it really boring. And I'll tell you why. And I found something better. So stay tuned. Okay, so powerlifting to me is boring because it's just tedious. It takes too long to set up. There's too much wait time in between sets. And setting up the takedown is a Again, a hassle and there are always people wherever I train that keep ha harassing me whenever I have something like a barbell with plates on it on the floor and I'm standing idle I don't like the idle time I don't like waiting it's just too slow too slow it's like waiting Waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, I'm waiting for my... To catch my breath so I could do the next set. Waiting, waiting. I gotta set up, take down plates, put away plates. People ask, answering people's constant nagging. How many more sets you got left? How many more sets you got left? How many more sets you got left? So that's why I, I stopped powerlifting. Maybe I'll pick it up later on. Maybe if I went to a powerlifting gym, it would be different but I don't really want to invest in a powerlifting gym membership right now and again because it's not interesting to me so what is the, what is it that I'm doing then instead of powerlifting impossible lifting what is impossible lifting hmm, good question impossible lifting is overcoming isometrics so you've seen the video that I made previously about overcoming isometrics that is impossible lifting. Lifting an impossible object off the ground or pushing it. Okay, so if you didn't know, watch the video. In summary, it's basically I use a gymnastic strap and I try to pull it or push it beyond what I can possibly physically do. Okay, it's like trying to push a wall, right? Overcoming object, a force. An immovable object meets an unstoppable force concept, okay? Bruce Lee practiced this, okay? This was before Bruce Lee, okay? He picked it up. He made it popular. So that's what I do, overcoming isometrics. And I can do it in 10 minutes, quickly. I just use a gymnastic strap, zip, 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 adjust it higher or lower, and then just lift it or push it. I do like... 10 second push or 10 second pull and pull as, or push as hard as I can. That's overcoming isometrics. Easy breathe, easy peasy. I can do it at home. I don't need any barbell or plates. I don't need to lug all that gear around. So that I find is more efficient and it gets the job done even better than powerlifting. Because again, powerlifting, you're supposed to lift a certain weight off the floor. Overcoming isometrics, you can't lift it, you can't push it. Again, it's just, it's defeated. You're defeated before you even start. That's what I like about it. And it, it strengthens your tendons, it makes you stronger in another sense when it comes to striking, right? Martial arts, boxing. And overcoming my isometrics. Okay, look into it. Uh, what else? Let's cover. Okay, the art of socialization. Someone mentioned. Comment. I, I think th your question is how can I make friends or how can I make people like me? 
how can I grow my network and all that? So here's my answer. It's easier for people to come to you versus you going to them. So what I what I endorse is let them come to you. It's easier to catch fish by setting up a trap versus spending all day fishing on the dock, casting your reel out into the sea, hoping fish will bite. I saw this video on YouTube. Uh, I think it was like these um, like this primitive technology videos where they, they these uh, these guys in Indonesia they set up a fish trap in their in their local lake. Right, so the guy he dug uh, like a pit that was next to the lake, and then he filled it with water, and then he covered the pit with branches and trees and shrubs and all that made it look good nice nice setup and then he put a basket uh, a weaved basket he weaved the basket put the basket so that you can enter but it's hard to escape those kind of baskets okay you can stick your hand in but you can't stick it out so he placed the basket the weaved basket in, into the pond covered it up with the leaves he left, he left it there overnight, showed up the next day, and he caught a whole bunch of crabs, fish, prawns, and all that, shellfish, all the things that you'd see in, in the wild, right? Isn't that smarter? Less effort, more efficient? You just set it and then forget it? So that's why I say, in my opinion, it's, it's better to let them come to you versus you going to them okay so if you want to make friends let them come to you if you want to get a girlfriend let her come to you if you want to if you want to people you want to connect with people let them come to you that's why I'm making these videos some people most people are not gonna like what I say or the way I look or my YouTube channel that's fine I'm not supposed to attract everyone I'm not supposed to please everyone people that stick around are the people that connect with me or like something about me and these are the people I, I would get along with better don't you think so it brings me to another conclusion I learned this the hard way you're not gonna make everyone like you most people are gonna hate you some people will tolerate you but very few will really like you and very, very few will really love you. How many people are on this planet? Eight billion. What percentage of these people are going to really connect with you, really like you, really like you, the real you? My answer is less than 1%. Less than 1% of 8 billion is 80 million. So think about that. Let that sink in. 80 million. You just need to find 80 million or less than 80 million people on this planet that really like you or really love you, really connect with you. 80 million out of 8 billion. So having three friends or just one girlfriend is more than enough. Got an endless, you got 80 million, you got 7 million 999,000 <laughs> minus one, okay? So think about that, keep that in mind, okay? 80 million, that's the number. Less than 80 million people on this planet, okay? And the rest, you can just let them go, okay? Let them go, okay? Not worth your time. Maybe later they'll come around. 
you can't control that. Less than 80 million. Same thing with sales, right? 100 people walk into your store, how many people buy? Well, if you're a supermarket, that's different. But if you're like a niche store, like a jewelry store, t-shirt shop, specific, a CrossFit gym, okay? 100 people, 100 leads show up at your front door, how many are gonna buy? The answer is one to three percent. One to three people will convert. A million, pe a million people watch your YouTube video, how many people will subscribe? Less than one to three percent, okay? That's the answer. So yeah, don't worry about making friends. Let them come to you, okay? Make a YouTube channel. Do your hobbies. Just keep doing, keep amplifying whatever it is that makes you, you. Okay. And people will naturally gravitate towards you. Natu people will just flock towards you. The, the ones that do like you. It happens to me all the time. Man. People are just like, oh my God, you're so great at working out. Like, oh, no. I know, they just, some people are just flabbergasted what I do and some people are intimidated or some people are jealous some people are haters you get a mixed bag but I am at least I'm me 100% me I'm not bending over and bowing down to what everyone else is doing in the gym which is to me is boring okay so if I, if I was a power lifter if I was in the power lifting then yeah I'll do power lifting all the way and stick to stick to my guns and naturally you'll find other people who will gravitate towards you oh I'm interested I'm interested in power lifting I like what you do so there you go you can't make friends with everyone people come and go in your life just keep doing what you're doing. Just focus on the grind. The grind is everything to me. The grind is what matters. People, secondary, okay? People are benefits, okay? You get a girlfriend, you make a friend, you make a new friend, you make a new business connection. Yeah, that, that's a benefit. But again, you gotta stay on the grind. Be you, just you. Stop. Don't be fake. Which leads me to what I wanna say next. Grab Stefan. You probably heard about this. Coffee's a made video about a YouTuber bank that won't let people withdraw their money. Yada. Graham Stephan. I want to talk about this guy. I've, I've known this guy for a long time. I've watched his videos. I don't like the guy. What's going on, YouTube? This, this midget scammer. I don't like Graham Stephan. Never liked him. Because, one, he's so cheap freaking chest I feel so bad for his girlfriend put up with his cheapness okay if you have that kind of money be generous to the people around you especially your girlfriend the ones people that you love okay stop trying to cut expenses like, I can't stand those kind of cheap people especially ones that have money that can afford a cup of coffee second of all he looks like a midget version of Tom Cruise. I mean, Tom Cruise is a small guy, but he's even smaller. So like a little brother of Tom Cruise. Look at the way he looks. So he's kind of good looking, which is good. But I don't know, he's got something about him. Like this fake persona that he portrays, just like Tom Cruise does. Like we all knew, we all know Tom is a nutcase. And Graham, there's a real dark side to him. I can sense. And he hides this, he masks this with his fake persona, this friendly, clean-cut finance guy that shills affiliate products and his, and his teachable courses. I looked them up, I researched them. I, re I research a lot of YouTubers, good and bad. So I'm glad CoffeeZilla covered him. CoffeeZilla is kind of like me. You don't, I can't let shit slide. My name is Justin. Just, Justin is based on the word justice. Just, my name is Just. People call me, don't, people don't call me Justin. People call me Just, hey Just. Just is 
justice, short for justice. So when I see people that scam or lie or try to cheat or try to bullshit me, I don't let it slide. And they, they know this. They know this. That's why they're scared. People that are scared. People that are lying to themselves. They can't get away with it when they're around me. So all the fake people that I see at the gym, the gym influencers, spend so much time on their phones, don't get any work done. They just yak, yak, yak all session long. I, I know these people. I know one girl. She is pretty popular on Instagram. She's got like 80,000 followers on Instagram. I knew this girl for two years. I've seen her workouts. Every time she showed up, she would just yak with her girlfriend, yak with people around. Yak, 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 take photos, selfies, yak, work on her butt, yak, post more Instagram. This is the reality. You know, not everything is as it seems. Be careful of people, especially online, they are not who you think they are until you meet them in real life. And I've met a few YouTubers or famous internet people offline and they are not who they are. Well, they, they are not who you think they are. The fancy editing, the Photoshop, the music, the background music, you can manipulate your audience. You can manipulate yourself easier than you think. Which is why I want this video to be raw. This is unedited, okay? I'm just filming. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump cut this, okay? And then there are a few, very rarely, there are a few online people that are really genuine in real life, okay? And you gotta, you gotta vet these people. You gotta find out. Who these people are in real life before you draw your conclusion so yeah always vet people and things and yeah I feel people for the people that got scammed by Yada but then again here's here's my problem with Grand Stefan he doesn't care about his audience he cares about himself he cares about making money that's all he cares about. So he'll shill anything if he gets paid. So he's done it before with FTX. He's done it before with Sam Bankman Freed. He's done it before by just the people he hangs around with. Just be careful. Just like look at all the people he hangs around with. Me, Kevin, that's another scammer. All of these finance scammers. Andre Chick, that guy. Stand. I can't stand that guy. Anyone that promotes crypto, run away. Run away. I knew this guy in person. We were both uh, running e-commerce stores. So I met him. Because his uh, e-commerce store was bigger than mine. Like, way bigger. And he lived like 30 minutes from my house. So I said, hey, let's meet him in real life. Let's have a coffee or something. So I met him. And when I met him, he had his laptop out. And he was showing me what he was working on. Aside from his e-commerce business. And guess what it was? BitConnect. Now, if you don't know what BitConnect is, look it up. It was... A huge scam. People lost so much money, including myself. And this guy that I met got me onto BitConnect. He said, Look how much money you can make, Justin. Look at this. It's like, I'm, Look at all this money. Oh, look at this ROI. Wow. Like, and then I got curious because his, his e commerce store was way better than me. So I thought he would be a mentor for me. And I was wrong. He was a scammer. He scammed. People online, he faked his numbers. And uh, what happened was he was selling his 
services to new up and coming e commerce entrepreneurs. That's where he was making his big money, selling his, his mentorship. And he was trying to sell it to me as well. So he was asking for three grand in order for me to be his student. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get you the money. And then I was, you know, I was focusing on my own business and I was getting into BitConnect more and more. And then he was, he kept gradually nudging me. He's like, hey, when are you gonna sign up for my mentorship? When are you gonna give me that deposit? Like, yeah, 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 I'll come soon. He kept nudging me. And then BitConnect crashed. I lost all my money. Couldn't get back. And yeah, I cut ties with him. So, again, it leads me back to this thing. Be careful who you, who you like or see online. You got to vet them in real life. Because they're not always who they are. Especially this Graham Stephan. That guy lives in a gated community in a million dollar, multi-million dollar mansion in Las Vegas. Do you think he cares about morals and principles? No, he's got to keep the bills paid. He's got to keep his lifestyle going. That guy. That's what he cares about most. If I was his girlfriend, I would break up with him. Ditch that loser. I can't stand it. What a cheapskate that guy is. So yeah. The opposite of Graham Stephan. Roaring Kitty. Now that guy, I like him a lot. Screw you, system. F you to the man. He's got 500 million now in stocks. And... Uh, yeah, I liked him from the beginning. I, I followed his journey on Reddit. He was posting DFV. I was like, what is this guy doing? What is it? He's, he's turning the tide. He's got like a super, he's a super, he's a superhero. He's got a superpower that no, no other system corporation can handle pretty much. And here's all I want to say about him now. I, I'm, of course I'm going to watch his live stream tomorrow. You should too. But here's another thing I'm concerned about. I think, here's my prediction. If he doesn't take the, the proper precautions, two things are going to happen. He's going to get banned from the stock market, those trading apps that he's using. And or two, he's going to be assassinated. You piss off the wrong people, especially powerful people, they're going to come after you. Okay? Look at Jeffrey Epstein. He pissed off the wrong people, the powerful people. And Bill Gates got him killed. I said it. Bill Gates killed Jeffrey Epstein. That's another scumbag offline and online that I cannot stand. Bill Gates. I don't know. You've seen all of this. Yeah, I'm Mr. Philanthropist. Yeah, lying scumbag. That guy, I knew that guy from the beginning. When he started off in Microsoft, he cheated his partners. He just screws everyone with his crappy Microsoft software. I can't stand using Microsoft. That's the only reason I don't use a PC is because I can't stand Microsoft. I cannot stand that system. Ugh, Word, Excel payment subscription no thank you so there you go lessons learned okay let them come to you instead of you going to them it's easier to catch fish with the right bait with the right trap with the right system in place okay so i'm going to work out i will talk to you later leave a comment down below what you would like me to cover next in the next video and i will see you later bye